right, the fun begin. So in, in this next sequence, we're going to start animating and creating our sequences. And we're going to then create a master sequence. One thing I want to mention off the bat, do not create your sequence from here. Okay, I know you can. You'll notice that you can create a sequence from here. But do it from there. It, I just find the way I'm going to teach you the world I'm going to show you is a lot simpler. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder cinematics. So we're going to cinematic. All right, give it a color. That's already good. Okay. What I'm do is go in there, and I've already dragged my actor in. So my uh, my first Amy did it when I added the last video. So what I do now is I'm going to a sequence. So you go on mission, sequence. Press there, and I'm just one. So this is the first one. Then I'm going to double click on it. Since my Amy character is selected, I'm in. Now notice one's called, there's no to it. We're going to add a couple more in later, and there'll be like three. Uh, remember we said we want to do fade sequences. The goal is not to have a fully flat film here. have a previs, which gives us a hint of a film could look like, or what could look like. If you were. So, she, so she's selected. So what I'm going to do is go over here and add sequence and add. So editor. Now, currently, she doesn't have an animation to add the animation. Now, you would have, in your organizer, already did some of the animations you're thinking of, and you could adapt them. I would encourage you to change your uh, uh, organizer. Mine is weight shift. Well, currently, this is not. This is just we brought in. We brought in our Amy with animation. This is X. Now, what we need to do in our camera. Now, don't bring the camera in here, even though you could. Uh, if you bring them in from, they will disappear after sequence is which is what we want we don't want objects in the way click on that way you see camera sees one of the things we're going to do to keep simple we're going to immediately change the settings so let's just uh the focus method is well we're going to go to disable so right away our character looks pretty good and right now you can see pilot is out. so that means that i move my mouse this is the actual shot that we're going to start with so one of the things I wanted first shot is just keep simple. No movement, just to teach you how to, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Now one of the things you, and let's see, the animation is we're happy about that. Because it's shifting to the little bit, what I'm going to do here, as soon as you go out, it goes back to T-pose, but that's okay. Well, I'm going to put her more in the, and the pilot still active. I guess it unactivates it, but it doesn't do that. So go over here. So you might force it, it's pretty long. So I'm going to take this and move it to five. So what I'll even though you see this here show up in your sequence is all the way up to this uh long. okay so that's how long press the space bar and you see okay now it's this if it's if you don't press this you can see what the camera is actually going to so that's something that a lot of wrong my students off not working click the camera let's press play there's our first scene so first scene we're going to click okay now Go to our content browser. It's already there. You can even see how it's made. So now let's change. Um, okay, so let's uh, right here. Let's turn off uh, set controls, and we're just gonna go back to the uh, we're around in our scene. I usually when I'm think I slow this down to two because when you move way uh, move slowly. If you're moving, it's gonna be hard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my actor. Who's again? You always grab this with the uh, sort of purple color here. Bring that in, so it won't be the right place. Oh, I think it worked. Let go, and you'll see. Yeah, so it's only there. It was there twice. You'd see pearl too. So if you did that, delete. Eventually, have more than one pearl. Okay. And things I want to do right now is I'm gonna move. So the little red arrow, because I want her. There you go. Select that red arrow, Ricky. Right there. Now press again. And if, uh, if ever rest, I have my finger, yeah, left mouse button, the N key as I go. Uh, okay, well, it's fussy, but usually. Uh, and the other thing you may want to do is if this, like, huge increments won't work so well. So what I do is I'm down to one. I'm like, able to it around. So right now, facing that way, I'm going to self a roughly where the camera. It's always a good idea. And then I can just actually off a little bit. And I'll press the W, put her roughly in the middle, and you know, you double check in a little bit more time. And also brought a light in, uh, and maybe that light is is. And you want shadow? I'll, I'll let you figure that. Whatever you're doing, your so you can move these as well. And if I press, to have a look. Where is it? Kind of always playing around in space, which for beginning a little bit tougher. 
and there you go and it's a little so i could always click on this and bring it down well it's good enough i'm going to leave it there so here's my character now i'm going to go again content browser click content and i'm going to go to this. and i'm going to create a sequence for her so each character gets this each sheen gets a sequence. two double click, and it'll close the other one this one her um don't forget to say pretty important and for some reason she's there i'm gonna have to move her kind of annoying but let's back in here I'll just move her right here not sure why that did that i'll put her right there now what i want to do is she is selected this is important this makes it much you could click and drag by the way um so you know, i'd rather just do it this way Cleanser, there you go so now that i need to give her an animation uh, I'm going to give her, I've already had, I decided that way ahead of time. And I'm also going to do is go to the camera. So my pilot is active, so I can move it around where I want it to start. So we're going to do something different now. We're going to actually our first keyframe. So what to do is start roughly back here. And what I'm going to do, is, you're going to notice under the camera, and this because there's a transform, you might want to close Perl for open this. The uh, camera, I think this is your playhead. This is really important. This is, the big clip this is the end of it let's put it at the beginning and what i want to do i want to trend save keyframe so that this is where it's filming now what i'm going to do is go roughly here well this brings up a good issue that here in this clip the animation may be and this is where the animations you can actually double okay by doing that it'll stay in the animation you can also right and change the properties which is slower or faster but it doesn't really matter because idle and what we want to do is again only about two point funds maybe just so i doubled it for and what i want to do is click on if you click on the camera here you're going to see the camera sees and i want this. and i'm going to again underneath the camera is important click warm so you got two key for now let's see uh, this is where you do the first keyframe, and when you move it, this frame. Now there are a bunch of other coordinates you could change in here. Uh, I like clicking on these, and I also the hot key is. I find that there's an auto key method that we'll use, but I really don't want it for beginners. Just manually, and simple. This is not a previs. Trying to and to mention what is the edge of a previs? Well, I'm going to say this right. And if, if we had this vid, and let's say we have or somebody we're working with, it goes, oh God, there's way too much on her face. The advantage of Unreal, you can just move away like that. Now, give it again. And with previs, you got you change that. You change the camera angle. A lot of tweak. That's the advantage of previs over story or any other technique. What you're seeing right here, so let's say you want to change angle. Uh, okay. Now what we want to do is our next. We already did, so we have one and we have two. All right, so we 